What is going on, everybody? It is Big L here, and today we have our YCL VGC quarterfinal match. Uh, this week we're taking on Coach Kiwi and his team Tempest again. Um, last time we played, we did get the win, but it was a very hard fought win. Uh, he he brought a really really good team against me. He he played really really well. I do still feel like we have a very good team matchup, but we can't take that for granted again this time. We went we went harder into prep this time. Um, we thought really, really hard about a few more things. We thought more than just Specs Cali go crazy uh, this time. Uh, we, we thought about some more things, how to play around, how he's going to switch the terrain around. He did a, he did a very, very damn effort, a masterful job of uh, keeping my terrain off the field, which is something that is very, very bad for my team, very, very bad for Calyrex. <clears throat> um, so we'll go into his team real quick uh, just, just to remind you he has the Tapu Koko, the Blaziken Salamence, Galarian Weezing Bronzong, Alolan Raichu Dusk Noir, Lantern Lycanroc Midday Thwacky and his restricted is the other Calyrex form he has Calyrex Ice Rider so a pretty 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 heavy hard trick room team but he does have ways to be fast uh, with the speed boost Blaziken he can get a couple dragon dances off with Salamence and he can obviously a Lowland Raichu in electric terrain is not slow <laughs> so we're gonna get into what I'm bringing um, it's a very very similar team to what I brought last time with a few a few tweaks few adjustments I am bringing something different this time I'm gonna move my face so so you guys can see the team and Oh, I did not add this to the team yet. That would have been bad, because I do plan on bringing this to the, to the match. Okay. <laughs> we are obviously, we're bringing Calyrex again. Calyrex is very, very, very good in this matchup. He does not have a Ghost Resist, so Astral Barrage spam is free against him. Um, max Special Attack um, with enough speed. I can't remember. I think it's enough speed to outspeed a plus one Blaziken, in case he tries to protect with it. Uh, with expanding force protect leaf storm and astral barrage uh just i feel like this set is just the best uh, leaf storm i did bring protect um because a little little piece of tech here that we've got is if he tries to lead the thwacky dust noir combo that he led twice last time out of the three games if i lead i'm planning game one to lead calyrex next to arcanine and then switching in indeed what this does for me is it protects me from Shadow Sneak from the uh, Dust Noir. And at minus one, <clears throat> unless he's not Evil Idol, he's, he's like Choice Bandit or something, we live a knockoff from the uh, from the Thwacky. So if the Thwacky is Evil Light in the same in a similar set to what he was last time, which is like very specially defensive and Evil Light, if you bring something similar to that, we live that knockoff. And so we get the plus one from knocking out the Dust Noir. And um, we don't have we, we can't get Shadow Snuck because we will switch in DD in. And we live the knockoff. So we'll be at plus one. We won't have our choice specs, which is why we're bringing Protect. I fully expect to potentially get knocked off by the Thwacky at some point in this in this set. So then we can Protect. We can change moves, which would be fantastic. Because against a lot of other Pokemon, Expanding Force does more damage than Astral Barrage. Like against the Thwacky, Expanding Force does more. But it doesn't do as much to the Dust Noir. It doesn't kill the Dust Noir, unfortunately. So that's that's why I'm bringing Protect on a choice set. Next up, we have Wilfred, the Escavalier. We're bringing an Assault Vest this time. And not the Akaberry. Um, I didn't really think Protect paid off too well for me last time in the last matchup. And... I was looking at <clears throat> things that I would potentially live with the Akaberry, and looking at how he brought his team last time, I feel like if he's going to bring the Salamence, it's going to be physical. Um, and so I looked at I looked at a flamethrower from Salamence, from like a special Salamence, which the Akaberry let me live the, the flamethrower from a special Salamence, but the Akaberry doesn't let me live a fire fang from physical Salamence. So, I was like, you know what, I'm going to ring the Assault Vest. With the Assault Vest, I still live the Flamethrower if he is special. So I still get I still get to live that. But there was no there was no way I was living an Akaberry, I mean, uh, a Fire Fang from one. 
So I just felt like the assault vest was better, and it, let me li let me bring an extra move or two. So that's why that Arcanine again. I'm bringing the exact same Arcanine I brought last time. That Arcanine gave him fits. So I'm bringing the exact same Arcanine. Um, I don't. I didn't see any reason to change anything with this set. This set was perfect for uh, for him last time. I think it's gonna be perfect again this time. No, no reason. I, and, but the one thing I'm, I'm gonna do differently, I'm gonna click Will O' Wisp more. <laughs> I'm gonna click Will O' Wisp more. Um, because as you saw, as you saw in game three, the the burns really messed with him. Um, in game three, now granted, I had been clicking Heat Wave for three games and only got those burns, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So I, I think Will O' Wisp could be really, really good. And if he brings the Salamence, I can Will O' Wisp the Salamence. I can Will O' Wisp the Calyrex Ice. I think Will O' Wisp is just very, very good in this game. Next up, we have Nurse the Indeedy coming again. Um. Same spread as last time, but we have a little change. We are bringing Psychic Terrain. So this is so I can get my terrain back on the field. Um, especially if I'm in a situation where Raisins has been knocked off. What I can do is just protect Raisins and Psychic Terrain. If I'm in front of the Coco, or let's say I've knocked the Coco out and the Thwacky is in, I can just... Psychic terrain and boom, I have my terrain back up. I don't have to worry about trying to switch in DD out and then I don't I don't have to worry about doing all that stuff. I can just click psychic terrain. There we go. Done. <laughs> Perfect. Um and I'm I'm going with expanding force this time. Um just because I feel like I was looking at calcs and even with no investment, which this indeed he has no special attack investment. Even with no investment, expanding force does a lot. To several mods like it does over it does like half to a non like an eviolite but offensive eviolite thwacky it does like half so it does a lot of damage to a lot of things on his team outside of like bronze Lord. and that's about it but calyrex i guess about it next up flapjack we actually gave it a nickname this time we remember to give it a nickname this time flapjack the uh <clears throat> stunfisk uh this is i'm bringing something different this time bring an eerie impulse um for those of you that may not know what eerie impulse does what it does is it lowers the special attack of what it what do you use it on by two so if i'm sitting in front of the raichu and the coco i can use this on one of them um if it's a special mince i can use it on that so so yeah uh, that's the whole point sorry um, of bringing Eerie Impulse and Sludge Bomb. I brought Sludge Bomb instead of Scald this time because I wanted to be a way to be able to do some actual damage to the Thwacky. Um, so I just thought like Sludge Bomb would just be a much better move over Scald this time around uh, because I do plan on clicking Will-O-Wisp more. Um, and I didn't think Yawn made a lot of sense. Uh, it was just kind of a move that I put on there to put on there last time. Because I was like, hey, maybe I could put something to sleep. That'd be kind of nice. But like I said, I do plan on spreading that Will-O-Wisp around this time. I very, very much plan on spreading that Will-O-Wisp around this time. And last but not least, we are bringing the Executor. We're not bringing Terrakion this time. I was looking at the matchup, and I'm just like, you know, what, what, did, what did I bring Terrakion for? I didn't watch my team builder. I watched both sides of our battle because I wanted to see his thoughts throughout the game, like kind of, and like also see see like you know what was on the sets that I missed um, from the from the time. You know? So um, <clears throat> we are bringing it Frisk with Habamberry. Also, I think Frisk is, is next to Intimidate. Frisk might be the best ability to have in BGC. You automatically get to know what two of your opponent's held items are. So if I lead this. I immediately get to know what half of his team's held up, which is fantastic knowledge. Whether you win or whether you lose, it's still fantastic knowledge. That's why knockoff is so good, I believe. A lot of people don't value knockoff as much in BGC, but I think it's fantastic. Because, like, it's like, like we saw in game one last time in this set, you know, the Raichu had already been <clears throat> weakened, but I went for knockoff on it. It's like, you know what? I, this is what I'm going to wear the item list. So it's fantastic knowledge. Um, we have Draco Meteor, which unfortunately we do need Draco Meteor to be able to KO the Salamence. Which is unfortunate. I really wanted to just run Dragon Pulse because, you know, now this isn't free to just stay in and spam. But it is what it is. Uh, we are having a Habomberry. Uh, Habomberry lets me live two Dragon Claws. I mean, a, a 
dragon off from a plus one Salamence. And <clears throat> if he does bring like a Dragon Dance set, or if he's Moxie with, uh, and he gets a plus one boost. Um, Giga Drain is for the, you know, basically just, just a good stab to have against like, his electric types or the, the Lantern, which we kind of completely hard know. Uh, protect, uh, there obviously Protect is a good, good move to have in BGC and Leech Seed. I, I thought about stomping Tantrum because he does have the two really strong electric types. But I felt like Leech Seed could be really, really good for me to maybe, like, you know, stall that, stall out and wear down something like the Gust Noir. Maybe if I get it off on, like, a Calyrex, I can wear it down. Um, the plays, like, I don't, I, I'm trying to think, I, I, there's a lot of mods that could be, I, I mean, basically, I, I would take it on basically anything except for the Thwacky, which it can't Leech Seed. Um, but, uh, it's, it's just very good, like, especially if, like, I've killed, if, if he's down to his last two, that's just extra turnly damage that we're getting off that can help wear something down. Which is always nice. Which is always nice to see. And this is something that I, I felt like this could be good because you know, expand. I'm not expanding, of course. Uh, Rising Voltage from Alolan Raichu kind of tore through me last time, and this is a quad resist for that. So he w he won't just be free. He's not just free to click that against me. So we will. And I apologize if I don't have the same energy I've been having. I've been sick the last couple days. I was actually thinking about pushing this back. But I woke up this morning, all I had was a slight headache, and I was like, you know what, I don't, I don't want to keep pushing back. I know we, we agreed on yesterday, but I didn't, no, we agreed on today, I guess. But I guess I, I've had sick brain the last couple days. So, that'll do it for me for now. We're going to get, we will see you in a few minutes when Kiwi is ready to battle, and we will see you when we're getting ready to find that. So, see you in a second. All right, we are back, and we are searching for Kiwi. Um, I'm pretty nervous about this one. Um, always nervous. You know, if you've, if you've been around for a while, you know I'm, I'm on a pretty pretty hard playoff losing streak. Um, but, you know, we're going we're gonna to try to pull it back this time. So then we're searching... I don't think either of us has the proper rules either. We're supposed to be playing on BGC Series 10, but like I told him, like as long as as long as both of our mons are legal, like as long as our teams are like all legal, it shouldn't matter. Like we should be fine. All right, and we are here. We are here with Kiwi. Um, going with the epic battle music from Persona 5 Royal. I'll go ahead and decide myself because we don't. I don't think either of us have the rules yet. This is all I have. <laughs> this is all I have. Uh, but we'll just do this because uh, it has special Pokemon allowed. Same Pokemon. It's basically the same thing. Um, is it just VGC rules? That's all it is. Uh, so I yeah I don't. So, like, we don't, neither one of us has the proper rules. Um, but it is what it is. I'm curious to see how different his team is. I brought a very, very similar team. Uh, but I changed up quite a bit. I changed up a lot of little things on my team. I feel like rematches are better for the, per for the person who lost, honestly. It's easier for them to make adjustments. All right, so no Dusk Noir. He brought the he brought. I think that's the only difference. He brought the Lichen Rock over the Dusk Noir. Okay, that's fine actually. I think we're just gonna go with our original squad. I could see that Dusk Noir. I could see that Lichen Rock being. Uh, I could see that Lichen Rock being. Uh, Sash. That's the only difference, is he do, he brought the Lycan Rock over the Dusk Noir. I think Ribbed could be good here. I really do. I definitely think that Mints... That Mints could be special on this build. Um, I don't know, do I want... I'm 
gonna bring. I'm gonna bring Neil. Uh, I'm gonna send him a little GLHF. And we'll get into it. Hopefully, hopefully no hacks. Hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully things go to, go according to plan. And we'll see what happens. What does he lead? Wacky and Poco Lantern. Okay, that's fine. Last time he was Scarf Coco. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to Snarl. And I think I'm going to switch out Calyrex into... Uh, 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 I think I'm going to switch out into you and I'm going to Snarl. I think that's a good I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna snarl. That's not the lead I was expecting. Because I know Lantern lives in Astral Barrage. Coco is magnet, and that is assault fest. Okay. It's not gonna do any damage, but we get that we get that we get that special attack drop, which is nice. Oh, we got icy wind. Okay, that's fine. I sh I live a dazzling gleam from this. I think I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna Giga Drain the Lantern. I'm just going to snarl again. Yeah, I'm just going to snarl. Neither one of these mods is particularly scary to what I have out here. I'm curious. Because the lantern's at minus one, it's not that scary. That was a good play on his part, though, turn one. He could protect the Coco, and just, he, knows, he knows the lantern lives. And it's a salt vest, so we know it has four attacks. We don't have to worry about Thunder Wave, which is nice. Um, and now that it's at minus one special attack, it will do even less. He switched it out, so whatever's coming in is getting hit with a snarl. Okay, mince. Okay, that's fine. It's intimidate. I should have protected. Cause D Gleam's gonna D Gleam's gonna tickle, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't live a dragon claw now. That's fine. Um, that Coco's minus one. I can protect. I can. That did very little, but I can protect and willow it. So if he's free to dragon dance, that'd be fine. I can willow him. I'm going to protect. I should have protected there. That was a mistake. And I'm going to Will-O-Wisp the Mints. I can't let him... I can't let him set up. I need to get damage off on Lantern. He could have Protect on Mints. He could be Scarf on Mints, since he's not Scarf Coco. You you turn on Coco, okay, that's fine. Mints goes for Dragon Claw into the okay, cool. That's a that's a great turn for us. He went for Dragon Claw, so he is physical. Okay. 
Okay, so he is physical on Mints. The Coco wanted to get gone. Um, let me see. Uh, the Coco wants to get out of here. I think I want to switch this out into maybe. I don't have a Scavalier. Indeedy should live any hits that he wants to go for. I'm going to go Indeedy here. And I'm going to go for a Heat Wave. I don't want to protect. I'll go for Heat Wave. I don't think nothing, nothing here really pressures Cubby. This could be a misplay. I probably should have just let Exeggutor go down. I probably should have just let Exeggutor go down, honestly. Salamence protects. That's fine. Dazzling Gleam. Okay, perfect. That was about the perfect turn. Be a good damage off on Coco too, which is nice. Um, I could just expanding force, honestly. I mean, he could switch in the Thwacky if he brought it, but I'm just gonna go for expanding force, and I'm gonna heat wave again. I don't see any reason to go for anything but heat wave. I am not threatened at all right now with Arcanine. He switches out Salamence. Probably went into, oh, he went into Lantern, that's fine. I told you the Coco didn't hard switch. Discharge, it's Volt Absorb, okay. But this is minus one, unless we get paired, this shouldn't do too, too much to us. That's a lot to cut. Oh, shit. And we get paired. This is gonna tickle. Awesome, we get we KO the Coco. Cool, nice. Coco's gone. This para could really suck though for Arcanine. That crit sucked. Right here. Okay. <clears throat> um, I think I'm just going to E-Force here. I'm going to Protect, actually. And I'm going to... God dang it. And I'm going to Snarl, my, my Capture Card acting up. Um, yeah, if Arcanine goes down here, that's fine. Uh, he didn't switch anything out. I don't know what's happening right now. My TV is off. Um, I don't know how, I don't know what happened this turn, pretty much. He went for Expanding Force, Cubby lived, and we get a Snarl off, which is really, really nice. Okay, let me redo this real quick, Video Capture Device. Alright, sorry about that. This, I hate it when this happens during games. It's annoying. Alright. All right. Um, I'm gonna E force of my I'm gonna E force myself. Cause he can't change terrain unless he has uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna heat wave. We've seen all four mons. He can't change terrain. Yeah, I'm gonna heat wave because I want I want Arcanine to go down here. Arcanine goes down here and that's fine. I can just go Calyrex. And we're getting we're getting good damage on Lantern, which is what we need. We need damage on Lantern. Damage on Lantern is good. Yeah, I just go Raisins here, and I think we win, honestly. Yeah, we've seen all four Mons. He can't change terrain. 
I think the expanding force caught him off guard. So yeah, we just uh, follow me. No. I just E-force. Because I'm faster than the lantern and I don't want him... I don't want him living the turn. Raichu goes for protect, that's fine. Lantern will live this. 100%. Oh man, that is zero damage. Hopefully this gets the KO. It didn't. But he goes for Icy Wind. Okay, that's fine. I switch Calyrex out this turn. That's fine. I switch Calyrex out this turn. Yeah, I switch Calyrex out this turn. I go for Psychic Terrain. And I switch Calyrex out. I want Rib to go down. That was well played on his part. I didn't want to reveal this, but I feel like it's important. And now we get to see items, which is nice. Although then Raichu is Focus Sash again. I'm not letting you have this. I'm not letting you have my Calyrex, man. That burn's fine. That doesn't matter. It sucks that now he knows I can set my own terrain. <laughs> it does. It sucks that he knows I can set my own terrain. I want Rib to go down this turn. Um, I'm going to Giga Drain the Raichu just in case. That's fine. Indeed, he lives this. Yeah. This this turn's perfect. Because now he gets his mints in, but I get my Calyrex in. I outspeed. That's, oh, yeah, he is fast. Okay. That was a crit. We go for E-Force. This should kill both, I think. Nope, didn't kill the right shoot. And we go for follow me. And we're faster. This, sh this should be a win. It didn't go perfect. It didn't go exactly how I thought it would. But it went well. It's good to know. We learned a lot of information too. Alright. So I'm going to go for follow me. And Astral Plus. Right to protects, that's fine. And he's not faster, so I mean we saw him change moves. We can see how bulky he is. He has to be he'd have to be really bulky to live this. Yeah, that's a kill. That's game. Cool. So we get game one. GG game one. Uh, yeah, GG, GG game one to Kiwi. He, he would, he'll, I'm assuming he would go for expanding force here. Alright, so that's game one. I don't like that we had to reveal our tech on Ndidi. I don't like that we had to reveal that. Um, I think we go same lead, honestly. I'm surprised Thwacky didn't come. I thought, I thought I received this lead card last time. Um,
I don't see any reason to do anything different, really. I was really surprised he didn't bring the flak in. Because him switching around and changing terrains is what screwed me up so bad last time. Okay. I might go same lead. I think I might I think I want to go I think I want to go with you in the back instead of instead of the since I know that the men's isn't stark. I know it's physical. I kind of want to go with you in the back instead of. Because uh, we saw Protect and Dragon Claw on the Mints. Does he have Fire Fang? If he doesn't have Fire Fang on the Mints, what does he have for this? Yeah, if he doesn't have Fire Fang on Mints, what does he have for his Cavalier? I'm going with the same lead. I think that lead is my best lead. Lycanroc Thwack. Okay. He's not he's not sash on Lycanroc either. Alright, so this is this is the lead we were kind of thinking we would get. With the Thwacky and <clears throat> the only the Dust Noir. This could be Scarf. I have to be careful. This could be Scarf. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch out Calera. and I'm just gonna Willow Wisp the Lichen Rock because that thing, in my opinion, is the bigger threat. I need to know. I need to know if this thing is Scarf or not. Okay, protect on Thwacky. That's fine. Snarl. He might be Scarf. That sucks. That sucks. But if he's Scarf, that doesn't matter. All right, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna iron head this and heat wave. The lichen rock could definitely be scarf. We haven't seen a scarfer yet. Yeah, I think that's Scarf. 100%, I think that's Scarf. This is going to tickle the, co the Coco. This Iron Head is. And he did bring both of he did bring both of his terrains. Which I'm really surprised he didn't bring last time. Honestly, I'm very surprised he didn't bring both terrains last time. Okay. Burn? Nope. Wacky went for Sword Stance. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Let's double this wacky. You turn, that's not going to do very much to me. Raichu. Like him. Okay. Yeah, this thing is screaming scarf. Okay, it's burned. Knock off. That's fine. Leftovers are gone. That's annoying, but it is what it is. And now you don't have your EV light. Okay. Um. There's a lichen rock out there. I think he's gonna target down the Arcanine. I think I think the Arcanine really annoys him. Wacky protect. Ah, he does have fire flame. Shit. We live though. It is scarf. Okay. That is very, very good to know. Okay. Um, I think I just let Wilfred go down here. Or do I switch you out? No, I think I. I think I let you go down. Yeah, you did it. Good job, buddy. You deserve a good rest. I'm just going to heat wave. He switches out Thwacky into Raichu. Close combat. I mean, I said this would KO the Lycan Rock with this being minus one, but it's burned. Oh, we get the double burn. That, that burn doesn't matter on Raichu. Okay, yes, Cavalier picks up the KO, which is nice. That crit did not matter. Now, what sucks is he has both of his terrain setters still, so I have to be very, very careful. I think what I do here is I protect Arcanine and I just, I knock off the Raichu. I knock off the Raichu and I protect Arcanine because I need Arcanine. And hope, and I hope that a Scavalier goes down. <laughs> that's what I hope for. If not, that's fine. He's, he's going to eat a knockoff on his Raichu. Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. Because now I go Calyrex, and then I switch in DDM. Because Arcanine is slower than both of these Mons. And if he goes for a U-turn, it'll be slower. So I go Calyrex, and I switch in DD in the Cubby slot. This is a play I should have made like three times in the last battle I didn't make. I go for Astral Barrage, and I switch out into Indeedee. You can save your, you can save your Coco, it doesn't matter. I mean, he could protect the Raichu here. That was a good play by him, 
But it doesn't save his Raichu. Unless he, he can protect the Raichu here. Yeah, Raichu protects. That's fine. Because the Thwacky goes down here. How do I lose this game? Raichu is faster than me. Rising Voltage kills me. Uh, not if he's not if he's not item boosted. He doesn't. He doesn't KO me. Unless he's modest. He could be modest. Wait. Wait, what am I doing? I click follow me. <laughs> a rising voltage isn't a, a rising voltage isn't a, isn't a double target. I think we win. I think that's game made. I think that's game. Yeah. He rising voltages, it goes into the Indeedee. Yeah. You get off the playoff schneid. Our prep our prep was much, much better this time. He played well. He he played well. He surprised me game one. He surprised me game one with that uh Nah, by not bringing the Thwacky. Um, but GG to Kiwi. That was a really, really... Oh. Uh, GG to Kiwi. Um, that was a really, really fun set. Um, <laughs> you just sent me a DF DFZ. D D D is so annoying. Yes, it is. That's why people shouldn't have let me draft it with Calyrex. <laughs> So we are in the semifinals where we get to play one of the offensive water teams they haven't played yet. So we're, we're going to be playing the Kyogre again. <laughs> or we get to play Praetor and his team that has the Palkia and the Urshifu Rapid Strike. So either way, we're going to be playing an offensive water team, which, as you know, are not very good for us. But that'll do it for us today. Thank you very much to T4U and Bucks for helping me build this week. We our prep our prep was a lot better this time around. We last time we just kind of thought, hey, specs Calyrex go burr. But this time we actually thought about it. We actually thought about the prep um, a lot more, and we our prep was a lot better this time around. We did a lot of work in in the lab this week, and um, thank you guys very much for watching. If if you're not already, I will have links down below. To all the other YCL coaches, go check them out. If you're following me and you're not following them, what are you doing? They all make better content than me. So go watch them, and thank you guys for watching. We will see you next week for semifinals. Have a good one.